Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and outs of graphic design as it pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And what I want to do today is take one of my designs from Illustrator that I previously designed. I'll have that video somewhere up here or in the description box below. But what I want to do is take that design and put it on Spreadshirt and show you guys how you can make your designs and sell your designs off of Spreadshirt. So quite recently, a lot of people have been asking me about my website. How do I get my t-shirts on my website? What do I do? Am I making my own shirts? Which I do make my shirts and I will show you guys how I do that. I have my little press machine back here somewhere, but what I really want to do is show you guys how easy it is to get set up on the internet and what you can do going forward before you start making all these different t-shirts. Now I did talk about this in another video and you guys should definitely check that out. But right now, I want to at least show you guys how to put your t-shirts on spread shirt and get set up correctly so with that being said you guys let's go ahead and make some magic <laughs> Okay, and here we are in Illustrator, and I got everything kind of set up right now. Basically, what I want to do is just go ahead and kind of highlight the stuff inside of my artboards, hit Command C, and then bring that over into a new document where I can just go ahead and paste it in and then just turn this into an EPS. So we're just going to go to File, Save As, and then we want to reformat this to be an EPS, so Illustrator EPS. Once you have that, just go ahead and hit Save and that should save your document out the way that you need it to be saved out. Just make sure that everything is set up like this. You can go ahead and hit OK. And that's pretty much it. So it's going to write all of this into a, an Illustrator file. But once that's said and done, we can just go ahead and go through and do this again for other stuff. So I have a little bit more to go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of this off screen. And I'm going to meet you guys at Spreadshirt while I'm putting this on my t-shirts and all that stuff. So I'll see you there. So here we are in Spreadshirt. Now what we want to do is just go ahead and kind of drag and drop those into this actual browser. So I'm going to bring up my finders and I'm just going to go ahead and pick one. So I'm just going to pick this one right here. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. All I need to do is just kind of drag and drop it in. Now I specifically chose one graphic color for a reason. So I'm just going to pick that and I'm just going to confirm that this is my design. So it's not going to be a preview because it's an EPS and all that. It's probably going to take a little while for us to actually see that EPS. But I'm just going to go ahead and describe my design. So it's an educated bearded man. And I'll put in some tags. So maybe educated, uh, HBCU. We'll type in college. And really all you need to do is type in three tags. So I think that looks pretty good right there. We hit submit design. So while we're waiting on that, what I want to do is go into my Photoshop and kind of fix up a texture that I want to put on top of this. I want to go ahead and put one of my textures into this as well, but I need to kind of fix it up because it's kind of small. It's not really suitable for Spreadshirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Photoshop real quick and I'm just going to go to my normal 14 by 17 with a 300 DPI and just hit OK. Now I have my textures already cut out. So what I want to do is just kind of just drop that in there and hit the check mark. And then I want to go to export, save for web. So it's going to try to load itself up real quick. So that's going to take a little second. But once it's loaded, we'll start the exporting process. So just kind of looking at the resolution size here, I tried to actually upload this not too long ago. And it said that it had to be a printable image between the size of like 40 to 4,000 pics. So this looks okay, but the file size itself needs to come down. So we'll put this at like 4,000 right here. And with this change, I can now upload this into Spreadshirt. Now this is a raster image. I have to worry about different things like is it going to be pixelated and all that extra stuff. So they're saying that 4,000 is what they can accept. We'll go ahead and hit save and see what we get. So here's my texture in Photoshop and I just kind of drop it into Spreadshirt like this. I'm going to confirm that this is my design and I actually can use this. And I'm just going to go ahead and describe it. So I'm just going to call this texture for educated. I'm going to say texture. We'll say dust and we'll say scratches and then we'll submit this design as well. So now that we got our assets uploaded and all that stuff, now it's time for us to go ahead and put that on a t-shirt. So what we want to do is go ahead and click on the My Products tab and it's going to give us this screen right here. What we want to do is just go ahead and click New Product and that's going to bring up a different screen. So what I like to do is just go ahead and go to the category and just go down to Men. I mean, because this is a men's shirt, we'll just do that. And then I'm going to pick the product and I want that to be a t-shirt. Now there's a few shirts here that I've kind of already messed with. Like right now, this is the Fruit of the Loom shirt. I've always messed with the Fruit of the Loom shirt. Here's Bella Canvas's shirts right here. So if you guys like Bella Canvas or anything like that, I actually did a few mock-ups of their shirts. So they have this one right here, which is just the V-neck. 
And then they have this one right here, which is kind of like a bleached out little shirt. But you can actually go through and find something different. Like they have this one right here, which is next level, which is pretty awesome. They have American Apparel, of course, one of everybody's favorite brands to use. They have this Gildian down here, which is pretty expensive. It's like $16 for them. And then they have just a lot more. So you guys kind of go through and figure out which one that you like to use. I'm going to go ahead and stick the Fruit of the Loon on this one. And I definitely want this in black, so I'm going to go ahead and choose my two designs. So here's the first one, which is the texture. As you can see, the texture shows up, and it looks pretty good like this. It's going to be a digital direct print, so, so what they're going to do is pretty much like a DTG, a direct-to-garment. So they're going to slide that through a machine, and it's going to just print on top of it. So I think that's pretty awesome like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick this design right here and then kind of scale it up. Now, the reason why we picked this design specifically and when he uploaded this as an EPS is because we can now change the color of this. So I'm gonna pick this white right here, which is pretty much what I was already doing. And I think this looks good. So we can scale this up and down and all that stuff back around and it looks pretty good where it's at right here. We can also take the image from behind and kind of layer it up on top. If you're not a fan of it, you can just move this down and pick the actual shirt graphic and then move that back up or put it in wherever you want it to go and then bring the shirt graphic right back up here like this. And you can also change the color. So I picked white, but I might pick something like maybe this gold right here. This is the gold that I use a lot for my channel. You can pick and put it in like blue. You can put it in magenta, gray, you know, all these other different colors or whatnot. It really doesn't matter. All right, and you can also pick the different color shirts. So maybe I don't want it in like black. Maybe I want the actual graphic in like black or any of these other colors. And I want the shirt in like white, you know? Or I want the shirt to be like yellow or something. You know, we can just do anything here. The sky is the limit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this back to black because I kind of want it like black. And I want the shirt graphic to be that orange that I kind of use. So this gold, gray, gold right here. This looks pretty good to me. And I want to click on the back of this to bring up the texture. And we'll say that looks pretty good. So now if you guys want to change like the product, you can definitely change the product to like a hoodie or something like that. You can do anything here. Like I said, the sky is the limit. Just know whenever you pick something different, the actual price is gonna change as well. So it's gonna go from like $25 to like 50 real quick, you know? So just be kind of cautious of that. Just because it looks like it might be a good deal, it might not be a good deal. So I like the way this is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. Now here I can name this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit educated and then put in a description. You guys, you don't want to mess up on this description. Like you actually want to go ahead and put a description into all your products. This is good for SEO. Now it's not going to matter too much on Spreadshirt. I'm not sure if it matters too much on Spreadshirt, but if you have a t-shirt shop on like your regular website and all that stuff, you don't want to miss out on like the SEO because you're going to miss that. And that's going to be a big problem. So I'm going to show you guys a little SEO technique that I kind of do. I'm going to go into Google. I'm going to type in educated and hit OK. So what I have here is a plug in for Chrome extension. And what it shows you is how much is being searched for, how much that keyword actually costs as much as like advertisers paying you money. So it's a, a cost per click. And then what's the competition? So right now there's no competition. Nobody, there's no money for this actual word or term, anything like that. But there's like 8,000 different searches a month for this just one term. If you scroll all the way down, you see other terms. So we have like some that aren't all that great, but we have defined literate. So I'm gonna actually use some of these in my actual descriptions. And now that we got those descriptions written out, all we wanna do is use those terms as tags. So now that we have the shirt made, what we wanna do is just add that to our website. And that's pretty easy to do. I'm gonna show you guys actually how to add that to a website some other time, but I actually have it set up on my website right now. So I'm gonna show you guys how to actually put that into your shop, which is gonna be on your website. And with that final tweak, you guys, this is it. So I hope you guys liked that one. And if you did, you can definitely pick up that shirt from my website, www.robertloyal.com forward slash apparel. Now this one is for men, but if there is another one out there for women, so if you guys like that one, go ahead and pick that one up too if you're a woman. So with that being said, you guys, if you like this one and you're new to my channel, then go ahead and like and subscribe. I do this one all the time. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about doing more of these. So I might do one with my vector packs that I, I put out for my Patreon. So if you guys want to learn how to actually use my vector packs to actually start making money for yourself, then let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all, else stay awesome
Yeah.